Hi and very welcome to the Tech Zone. There are two aspects of a thin and light laptops that affect the users more than others, and that is the cooling and fan noise. If the laptop also utilizes a dedicated graphic, it will be even more important to have good cooling solutions. Running the laptop on temperatures over 95 degrees Celsius can cause sev severe problems over time. The fan noise is another aspect. Measuring the fan noise in decibel gives a number, but it doesn't provide any information if it's a uh, discrete whoosh or a high pitch noise. I must give the whoosh uh, a vote when choosing one is le less disturbing. My sound level decibel meter seems to be showing 5 decibel more than the reality since I get 35 decibel in a total quiet room. No ventilation system and no sound from outside the house. The ambient noise should have been more like 30 decibels, so have that in mind when I show the stress figures. So you can see here I'm showing the, the ventilation and um, the, the intake is on the bottom and uh, the one on the back is uh, the output for, uh, for uh, the CPU uh, fan and uh, the one on the right side is uh, the one uh, for the GPU, the 1050 Max-Q GPU. So uh, let's uh, move on and uh, see what um, numbers we get when uh, trying the stress test. And first uh, I will start by opening up uh, and showing you the internals. Removing the bottom plate uh, demands you unscrew uh, these uh, 10 screws. The four in the back are longer, so have that in mind when you're uh, reassembling the, the bottom plate. And uh, it's not so easy to open it with uh, the, your nails. You should probably have a plastic tool doing this, not like me with a metal uh, screwdriver. But if you are very careful, uh, it won't leave any marks. So. I'm, put, I'm putting in a plastic card uh, between uh, between the bottom plate and uh, the top side, and uh, after that it's uh, it's quite easy to uh, to remove. Just be careful and uh, don't use too much uh, force. So uh, working your way down here, you have to you should have an, another plastic card maybe to. Uh, to hold it in uh, place when you're moving the plastic card, but it's uh, also easy to do, to do with your nails. Uh, so moving down this side, uh, you come to half of the side, it, uh, it comes loose, uh, the whole plate. So as you see, uh, just remove the plate uh, gently and uh, it should be fine. So as you can see here we have a two fan solution uh, and that is uh, one for the CPU that, and that is the one uh, to the right and uh, the one to the left is the GPU. And uh, his is, there's, uh, this is the SSD card and uh, it's very easy to remove and replace. You just unscrew it and uh, put in a new card. Um, what you think about is uh, to do a backup of your um, uh, current uh, drive uh, before changing it uh, and use an uh, USB stick to, uh, to do the restore. But uh, of course if you are going to do anything uh, you should remove the battery connection so you will be safe. So here's the cooling sol solution um, and um, You can see here uh, the cooling pipes uh, goes over both uh, the GPU and CPU, as you can see. So uh, they are not just uh, rem removing hot air from uh, one, so the both fans are uh, working together. And that I think is a smart solution, uh, especially on thin and light laptops. So here we have the memory. Uh, solder on board so you can't change that. So it seems to be for two gigabyte uh, units on this and that uh, uh, 
sum up to the 8 GB of RAM that I have. And here you can see the battery capacity is 73 watt hours, and uh, that uh, is don't sound so very much, but uh, it's um, it's uh, give very good battery performance. And the, here is the Wi-Fi uh, card. It's also soldered on, so you can't change that either. So not much to change here except for the SSD. I would uh, very much appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel and help me develop it over time. So let's move on. This is what the decibel meter is showing in a quiet room uh, and the fan is off. It's uh, no ambient noise whatsoever, so it should be around 30 decibel or 29 decibel. But let's see how that um, changes when we are performing a stress test on the system. So let's uh, try times by tr stress test by 3 d Mark. This should uh, press the, uh, the uh, GPU a lot. Uh, maybe not the CPU, but uh, at least uh, the GPU. Uh, and I will uh, measure both uh, the temperatures and the fan noise in this uh, test. So uh, this time uh, we have been running the test uh, for about uh, five minutes. And uh, checking the temperatures on the bottom side, you can see 39 degrees and uh, the highest uh, temperature is uh, around 42 degrees. And if you move out on the sides, you can see it, it's quite low temperatures uh, where you have your legs if you have a computer in your lap. So it's uh, just in the middle, and um, otherwise it's uh, it's quite comfortable, comfortable uh, temperatures. So you will not uh, burn your legs. So the maximum temperatures are uh, at the upper side, uh, close to the display. You can see here we have 38 degrees, uh, which is uh, impressively low. Uh, when running a stress test like this. And uh, otherwise you can see uh, the gaming key is 32, 33 degrees. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, very impressive. Um, so let's move on and check uh, after a while. So here I have been running this uh, stress test for around 15 minutes. I can see the temperature is uh, 39 degrees on the top part and uh, it's even a little higher on the the, the two rows uh, beneath the screen. So that is the hottest area and uh, otherwise uh, the temperatures are yeah, very very good. So uh, this kind of stress test is uh, of course uh, mostly pressing the, the GPU uh, but th that also uses the CPU of course, uh, not so much though. This is around uh, 20 minutes after starting the test. And uh, let's check out the temperatures. Um, it should be uh, higher now, I guess. You can see 40 degrees, 41, 42 degrees on the top uh, part. And uh, under that uh, the Function key is uh, 41 degrees, and uh, if you come down to the second row of uh, uh, keys, you can see it's uh, 39 degrees. So it's uh, getting hotter, um, but this is uh, at the end of the test. So um, let's uh, check out uh, the fan noise uh, and see how, how that is. Uh, check the decibels also. So oh, this is uh, a bit far from the laptop, but uh, it's more likely uh, approximately where you're sitting uh, with your back. You can see 46 decibels, that uh, should be yeah, 41, and that is uh, a very silent uh, bush. Um, no, this far away it's uh, 30. 
39, 40 decibel. 39. So this is uh, of course uh, far further away. So let's check the temperatures also. So let's see what we get. Um, and uh, on the lower part, uh, 32 degrees Celsius. Uh, and that's uh, very comfortable. And uh, if you move, move up a row, you have uh, 38 degrees. And uh, up on the numeric uh, keys, you can see that uh, it's around 40 degrees at the uh, hottest. And uh, all the way up we have 41 degrees. So that uh, means that the cooling system is uh, working very uh, good and uh, providing these uh, low temperatures. Quite impressive, actually. So let's check out um, the, the scores from this uh, test. This is the most interesting part. Here you can see the, the temperatures uh, 78 uh, on the GPU and 74 on the CPU. Uh, with one little spike uh, or one or two small spikes. Uh, that means that the, the cooling is consistent. It's uh, <laughs> amazing. I've never seen anything like this. And you can see the GPU is running uh, almost at 100%. Uh, pr and here is the CPU curves is also very impressive. But you can see there are some dips uh, here and there where the base clock, uh, it, uh, the CPU frequency is uh, lower than the, the base clock. So um, yeah, I don't really know, I don't have an explanation for that. But uh, otherwise it looks very good. So what are your thoughts about this test? Is it of any value? Please leave your thoughts in the comments field below and uh, don't forget to support my channel by subscribing. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.